Okay, I was going through Best Buy's catalog and it gave me some idea to do a video on complete box sets. And I have to say, 90% of the time, they're crap. There really isn't a lot of great sets now when a show ends or some kind of re-release or something where it's, it's nice. You can look at the Arrow, at least I think that's the one, the Arrow complete series, it's just a bunch of discs piled on top of each other inside one case. Something similar to when one of the Dexter releases had that. That was a Showtime show. Um, what's the other one I have? Bones. There, there's a lot of shows where they just wedge things into each other. And it's not just DVDs, it's Blu-rays. If, if you can afford it, then just go out and buy the sets individually. If you can't afford it, especially nowadays, buy one at a time. Whatever you do, if it's a show that's important, that's one of your favorite shows, don't, please, don't go and buy the shitty set. Just buy the nicer ones. I did that with Deep Space Nine. Well, actually, no, I didn't really do it with that. But with Star Trek Deep Space Nine, this is a good example. The old sets were the better ones. The ones where you would um, have all these plastic pieces and it would, they'd be different colors and it would say season 9 on the outside. Nowadays, for all the Star Treks, they re-release all the series. Yep, they re-released them. It's pretty much common sense when you walk, well, when you could walk in stores, depending on where you live now, it's pretty much everything's closed. You go into, uh, when you go, you'd walk into a store and you'd see them all repackaged. They'd be Deep Space Nine, Enterprise, Voyager, and the Next Generation, all packed into these really ridiculous cases that I think it should be embarrassed on. Um, Paramount, they should absolutely be embarrassed to release something the way they did, to look like that. I don't know what was going through their minds, but it's a, it's a, you're better off just buying the older sets. And if you're buying the DVD, well, you're not going to lose any quality in video or anything. If you're buying the Blu-ray, you have no choice but to buy the newer sets. But that's just my opinion. The X-Files is another one to for an, an example. I have to look at stuff to actually give you a good example. The X-Files is a great show. The last season or two kind of went off the shitter. All I have to tell you is that I own two X-Files movies. And I think there's two miniseries there that came out the last few years. They were all all crap. You have to go through the first six or seven seasons of the X-Files and then after that it just turns to a disaster. But when they released the X-Files for the first time on Blu-ray, they gave you nothing to be excited about. All the studios basically gave you shit. They gave you just a bunch of, bunch of tapes that if I had known I would have bought individually. What has gone wrong with these people? If anything, now that it's so scarce and Blu-rays and 4Ks are in um, low demand, now would be the time to give good releases because people would pay more for them. If you give people shit now, they're not going to buy them. I'm really, I'm sadly to say they're not going to buy them. Um, let's see. I already said Dexter. That was pretty bad. Um... And none of them are over here. You got all those Mill Creek releases, but I don't consider Mill Creek a real, real good, good source of entertainment. That's like, you go, you go to the. I tried out a few shows, shows from them, and they they suck. There's a lot, there's a lot of bad shows. Um, I'm try, I'm trying to think. What is the best one to use for a primary example? Um, those were some of them at least. A lot, I have a lot more DVD sets that are, um, say, are great complete series. That's all I have to say. That all, that's all there is to it. If I think you know, for, all, for it was I think it was 170 bucks for the whole season of Arrow, and yes, that's probably cheaper than if you bought the discs individually. But you miss out on the actual individual cases. I always use this as a really huge example. And the huge example I like to use is that um, if you go out and say you want to bring, you go to a friend's house, or you're going on vacation, you want to bring something on the plate to watch, 
you've only got seasons one to pick from, right? You got seasons one. Well, now you only got one season to pick from. The personally, I what I would do is buy them individually. So if you want to bring one season one place, one season another, you're all set. If you buy the whole big giant set, then you have to stop putting all your discs and your sleeves and all that, and um, these um CD cases. And I never liked that. And a lot of people have said that they put their movies in CD cases. If you're gonna collect movies and put them in CD cases, don't do it at all. Don't even bother. It's a complete waste. I don't know what to say to people to convince them otherwise. It's really not what you should do. Well, that's how I feel about it. Um, there's many other sets I could complain about that I compacted together. That's how I feel about it. There's a lot of old comedy shows, but those were never popular because no one cares about comedy anymore. All right. Bye-bye.